Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. Um, so let's talk about automation, how to get into automation. This is quite often asked, like what tool should I be learning? What programming language should I start with? Uh, and one of the answers that people sometimes give is you can start with Selenium Java because it's very popular. Okay, so I say, don't start with Selenium Java. Don't touch Selenium Java. Don't get into it. Uh, and I'll explain you why. So first thing, Selenium Java was a, a a pioneer tool that is widely used right now it's true but selenium java is widely used in the system that are older system like legacy systems or system that have huge framework it's just kind of hard to migrate but within those years you had tons and tons of specialists that were just learning selenium java becoming experts into uh, selenium and java and now they're on the on on the job market with the uh, layoffs, they're searching for the positions. Even though the jobs are available, you will be competing with those people. And this is becoming a legacy tool somewhat, not as popular as it used to be, right? So there's no point for you to get into that niche, knowing that there's a lot of people that are in that field for years now, and you will be competing with them for the positions that are available with that particular stack, right? Uh, Java, uh, Selenium. That's the first thing. Uh, second thing is um, there's a lot of complexity in Selenium Java. First of all, Java by itself is not a, as easy as language to start with. There's a lot of boilerplate code uh, that you might you know, might take a lot of time to understand what it does. There's a lot of complexity to set everything up. I mean, at least it used to be when I uh, was working with Selenium Java. I mean, you had to provide a path. Uh, where you put your jar file, uh, you had to install your drivers, you had to make sure that you know the packages, everything is installed properly, everything can run. Uh, so it could take a while just to figure out how to get things going, not not even writing any tests, but just how to, to launch the whole thing. There's a lot of complexity to it. And if you're new, I mean, you, you might just say, no, you know what, I don't want to deal with that. I'm done. I'm not doing it. So um, some other things that you should consider. Selenium, Java is, I mean, I mean, it is a pioneer tool uh, when it comes to automation, web automation. But right now, it is slower uh, than other tools available. It still deals with the web driver, so uh, takes a lot of resources to run parallel testing to set things up. It's it's not as fast as other tools, um, and there's still no asynchronous building. So a lot of the pages, you know, you have to kind of wait for the elements to show up. Uh, you have to put it in your code. Uh, things going to fail. So there's a lot of flakiness. There could be a lot of fr fragility just because of the tool you're using, especially with the modern web applications. So if you're going in Selenium Java, consider all those facts, right? Even though there are jobs available, a lot of them going to be older jobs. There will be a lot of you know, kind of code in the framework you'll have to manage, you're going to have to take over. The reason probably why they're still using Selenium Java, they could not migrate. Um, and you'll have to compete with people that were using the tool for years now. You know, kind of hard. What I suggest as an alternative, so if you really want to go into Selenium, okay, go with Selenium Python or hell, go even with Selenium JavaScript, you know, uh, because Python and JavaScript are very easy to start with. It's easy to learn. Like I have a playlist on my channel all about JavaScript for testers. You can just run through those videos as several hours, but Go through those videos. By the end of the the course, you should be ready to get started with Playwright uh, because you'll be knowing the JavaScript on the level that you know you can actually write stuff. Now, um, modern web automation tools like uh, Cypress and uh, Playwright are created in design that they are easy to install. So it takes just one line of code. You just type it out in it with uh, Cypress or Selenium. It gets the whole thing gets installed. Uh, Playwright has like out of the box cross browser support. Immediately you can start uh, running a parallel testing with Chrome, with Safari, with Firefox, out of the box. First command, it, it runs all of the tests in all those browsers. Also, uh, it it runs in context, something that Playwright is using. So it's not dealing with the uh, web driver. So it's a lot, there's no there's no overhead. It's It's really light. So I can launch multiple instances, 10, 20, 50 uh, on multiple browsers running in parallel. I'm not going to do much to my system. It's just going to run fine. Uh, Selenium, on the other hand, you might run into issues when you do a lot of parallel testing, multiple tests, multiple web drivers involved. Also, it's a lot slower. 
you know, uh, starting tasks, tearing things down a lot slower than uh, play rate or even Cypress. Uh, both, even though Selenium has a great community and a lot of support throughout the years, uh, still, web drivers dependency and things sometimes break. So something goes wrong, new update, new browser version, that's it. You're done. Your tests are not running. So a web driver will have to fix things on their end first. Um, now, with uh, Playwright, with Slim, there's no such issue. Plus, also, you have their build uh, for the modern web. So they know there's a synchronous. They know elements have to be weighted, and it's done. It's doing that automatically. Um, it is really easy to implement. Again, one line of code installs everything. You can start immediately. Like Selenium, there's a lot of support. So you have Discord servers where you can talk with people that you know do automation, like official servers. Uh, you have great online, easy to find things, documentation, great community, a lot of support. Cypress is a little bit more popular right now uh, than Playwright, but it's growing. Playwright is growing. So it looks like maybe a year or two, it's going to catch up and even surpass uh, Cypress. And both of those tools have like play record kind of thing. So you can step through the steps. What are you testing? You can record the whole thing. So if you're new with the tool, you can immediately start implementing testing without any coding or like very little coding. Just record and uh, replay your tests. And then as you mature, as you learn, you can update them. You can uh, properly uh, structure your testing, your framework and all, all of that things. Uh, they support both web UI and API verification. Uh, if you're considering what market you're going to have with Cypress or Playwright, both of those tools, uh, you have all of the startups, the web industry, uh, modern web support, it's all built in. So newer companies, newer businesses, most likely gonna, they're going to prefer someone that, you know, going to have a quick and fast implementation in the modern tool. Okay, so that's it. So no reason to compete in Selenium Java. If you really want Selenium, go with Selenium Python or Selenium JavaScript. But if you're like brand new, fresh, and you want to get immediately into web automation, like start learning and something that is easy to learn, easy to implement, Playwright, JavaScript, Cypress, JavaScript. Uh, even though Cypress uses its own commands, but still uh, knowing JavaScript will be really helpful. Plus, also, um, they have their own reporters built in. Uh, you can step through this, the, the tests. Uh, you can have visuals to understand what is being clicked, why it's being clicked. Uh, out of the box reports that are generated. You don't have to do anything else. It's just very convenient, uh, very tester friendly. Okay. Um, yeah. That's it. All right. Thanks, everyone. This is Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching in. Bye bye. Just to show you, uh, I got some tools on the screen. So this is Cypress. Uh, let's do like last five years. So Cypress today, we're getting around, well, it depends on the holiday weekends and you can see dips, but well, we're getting around 5 million downloads a day. That's a lot. This, this is uh, the NPM, right? Playwright is getting 4 million downloads today and you can see how playwright is just taking over like it's it's jumped it jumped in well started from 2023 it just kind of started growing up and up and up some other popular frameworks that were used before for example like test cafe um night watch like they're not getting anything now at all so here we see that on january 28th Cypress had 5 million downloads, Playwright had 4 million, uh, Test Cafe 200,000, Nightwatch 100,000, WebDriver IO uh, 1 million. So you can see you can see the trends, right? So so here is Selenium WebDriver. And you see how it's declining? So from three, almost 3 million in 2022 on November 13, where uh, Playwright had 1 million and Cypress had 4.5. So Selenium driver, web driver, Selenium web driver from 3 million down to 
million and a half. All right, so that's styling, right? Anyway, follow the trends and uh, keep on learning.